Today is Saturday, February 7th, and this is News from the Front. Hey everyone, welcome to another News from the Front. In the last episode, I mentioned the blog post uh, from around Christmas time that talked about the efficiency of the Model S. In that same blog, uh, Tesla highlighted a few things that affect the efficiency of the car, both the dual motor variant and the single motor variant. And I just want to read uh, a couple of extracts of those. Uh, so they did clarify that the uh, torque sleep would affect the rear motor. Um, there was a question about the um, eight, uh, 19 inch wheels and whether the new Cyclone wheels were any more efficient than the original 19 inch wheels. Uh, and Tesla's confirmed that there is a very slight improvement, maybe 2% efficiency uh, for the Cyclone wheels over the old wheels. Um, around city, less than 1%, hardly noticeable, but when you're cruising down the freeway at 65 or 70, then you should see a little range improvement if you're using the, the Cyclone wheels. Um, the 19-inch tires, the uh, Michelin Primacy tires, have been confirmed to be 3% better range than the Goodyear's at 65 miles an hour. So the combination of the Primacy tires and the Cyclones look like if you're trying to squeeze out the last bit of range of the car, then and that's the best combination for you. Um, what else did they say? Oh, the, the aero wheels. Way back when, uh, there were some pretty funky looking wheels that are uh, not too many, but uh, I know quite a few owners uh, did get a hold of. And they were special aerodynamic wheels that were meant to improve the, the aero efficiency by about 3%. Um, so the question was, uh, will we ever see those again? Because they were withdrawn from the configurator. Um, and uh, they say that less than 5% of owners actually chose that aero wheel, which is why they pulled it. They've decided that they're probably not going to reintroduce that because the new Cyclone wheel is pretty much as efficient as the old aero wheel was. Some news about software applications. One of the great things about the Model S is the overall software architecture. Uh, not just the, the way the 17-inch display provides all that great user interface, but also the fact that you can update the software over the air, and the fact that we have the smartphone control from iOS or Android or other uh, smartphones where we can unlock the car, see information about it. Several uh, programmers out there have developed third-party applications. They're kind of unofficial because Tesla has never published the formal APIs, the, the application programming interfaces that give you access to the software, but they've managed to figure it out. And one of those is an application called Visible Tesla from Joe Pasqua that I've been using a lot, and I know hundreds if not thousands of Model S owners use. There's a link to the application down in the notes below. So Visible Tesla lets you monitor what's going on. It tracks the charging. It tracks your driving if you want it to. Um, uh, but it can also send you notifications. Uh, until fairly recently, the Tesla official Tesla app didn't notify you of anything. So if your charging happened to stop for whatever reason um, before it was full, you didn't know about it until you got back to the car. So Visible Tesla was a way of getting those notifications. You could program it to do all kinds of things, to start charging at certain times, stop charging at certain times, notification if charging starts or stops. Anyway, um, Tesla has started moving its back-end infrastructure onto a new set of servers with some new back-end software, and that broke Visible Tesla. So I think for all the users in Europe, and for some of the owners in the US, Visible Tesla suddenly stopped working. Well, Joe's been trying to get a solution to that. He's got a new version of the application. Uh, he's currently only released it to some other developers to test because there are a few other problems with it. But it looks like he might have solved that. So for those of us that are big fans of Visible Tesla, um, it should be on its way back and, and back into full production use pretty soon. Sticking with the software theme, in the, uh, the book Owning Model S, I talk about a few websites that are specifically designed to work on the 17-inch display, and there's been a, a big update for one of them. So uh, Tesla Time, uh, again, website in the notes below, uh, is an application that I use fairly regularly. It displays a beautiful clock on the 17-inch display and also has some information about uh, weather and stocks 
so I flipped that one up. That's had a big update. There's a on the Tesla Motors forum, a user called Rumbles maintains that website. Uh, so go and check that one out. And the other one that I use fairly regularly is uh, um, the Quick Tesla, uh, quicktesla.com or uh, qtes.la. Again, links in the notes below. That's very much like the um, Tesla Time app, except it gives you uh, a, several more options. It's not so much focused on, on just the, the beautiful clock, but it has uh, stocks and news and weather. It also ha is integrated the PlugShare website with location awareness. So on your 17-inch display, if you really do need to get some non-Tesla charging, you can just jump to that uh, quick Tesla website and it will uh, highlight the place to charge. It also includes the list of uh, the nearest superchargers as well. So check both of those out. Okay, that's it for this episode. Back pretty soon with more news from the front.